Good morning everyone, it's Jelani. The morning scripture came from 1 Peter chapter 5 verses 6 to 8. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you this morning in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Thanking you for another day that you have preserved for us, dear Lord. And in that you have preserved it for, for us, we pray that we truly give you the praises, honor, worship, and thanksgiving worthy unto you, our Creator, for actually having us here this morning, dear Lord. And for everyone that hears this, I just want to pray, dear Lord, for each and every one of us that we do not lose hope in this life. Even though things may come against us, even though the, the world and all that is in it may be not for us. I just want to reassure each and every one of us this morning, dear Lord, that you are for us and you have told us that you would never leave us nor forsake us. So as you have given us word and encouragement, let us hold fast and be encouraged. So that we do not faint nor falter under the cares of this life, dear Lord. But that we continually look to you throughout all situations and hope and have faith in that you are the God that preserves the ones that he loves and the ones that love him. And in that we believe that you will preserve us. We know that you will preserve us until the end so that we can overcome this world and this life. And at the end, be with you forevermore in your goodness. And I pray that we do not become hypocrites, dear Lord. I pray that we do not just seek you when we are in need, but seek you all and every moment of our lives. I pray, dear Lord, that we do not cease to pray to you. And I pray that you help us in our prayer life to be more diligent. I pray that we do not... Um, for sake to pray for one one another or also dear lord knowing that every single person especially those of the faith of brothers and sisters of the faith as your word have said are going through similar um trials and these tests and trials of life that you have ordained and predestined for us to go through as always dear lord pray i pray that you strengthen us that we do not faint nor falter, but that we walk with strength in you, you in us, we abiding in you, that we walk strength to strength, hand in hand, so that we can finish this course of life victorious in you, and that our children also may see this and walk diligently in you, even from the youth, so when they're of age, they shall never neglect nor reject you, which is our prayer each and every morning for the young ones. Lead us, therefore, in spirit and in truth in your word. Let us not lean on our own understanding to the glory of God, our Heavenly Father. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray. Amen. All right. So 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 68 says, Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Be sober, be vigilant, be vigilant, be because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Amen. All right. So, t -t 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 epistle given by the Apostle Peter here. And if we kind of delve into these just these verses all right which started off and said humble yourself under the mighty hand of god why is this that we have to humble ourselves we have examples of individuals right throughout scripture that humble themselves before the mighty hand of god and those we have examples of those who was puffed up with pride right we see where the end of the ones who were puffed up in pride it wasn't a it wasn't a good end for them but the ones that humble themselves under the mighty hand of god they were exalted in due time 
um, as this word has says, has said, sorry. And um, why is it that we need to be humble? The reason humility plays so um, is, is such a plays such an integral role in us serving God is the fact, mere fact that the Lord the lord when we say the lord that means someone that is higher than us the lord he is god he is our master he's our king he's our shepherd he's our bishop the bishop of our faith right he's the the apostle of our faith and um if we acknowledge this then we acknowledge that we are not in control of nothing right and when you're actually acknowledge that you are not in control of nothing if you do this in sincerity humility will have to come into play to know that you are in need of a savior you are in need of help right and this goes back to show why the scripture told us we have to become as like children not that we become infants not that we become toddlers not that we, that we become teenagers again but the innocence that we have to have in that we are humbled in the sense that we rely solely on God has to come in play for us to truly serve God. If you think about a child, a child does not get up in the morning and say, all right, like say my four-year-old nephew is not going to get up in the morning and say, all right, I had enough of my, my mother. I'm going to start, you know, I'm going to move out. I'm going to start paying my bills. I'm going to be my own man, Right. There's not no such pride in my little four-year-old nephew, right? Why? Because he understands that he needs <laughs> so he needs to be provided for, right? He's a he's a little toddler, right? And um when he's hungry, he knows where who to go to. When he's thirsty, he knows where who to go to. When he's tired, he knows who to who to go to. When he hurt himself, he knows who to go to. Right, because he acknowledged that he is not in control of his own um, well-being. Right, likewise, if we acknowledge this, if we become as children in in this sense, right, relying on our heavenly Father, then, as I said, this takes a level of humility. There cannot be pride found in us, and the reason why pride leads to destruction is because, as I said, if we use the same example as my little, little nephew there. If he got up in the morning and said, you know what, I'm going to fend for myself. I'm going to go on the road and all of that stuff. First of all, he's only that tiny. So he's at a disadvantage already because you have predators out there, right? Secondly, he has nothing, no provision for him or his own self, right? Because he is a child, right? So again, he would dare, he might starve to death or some, some it would, would end up right for him, right? If he actually was prideful but as i said this is a mentality we should have as little children like i said we we'll exalt us in due time we we'll see examples of abraham we we'll see examples of david we we'll see examples of job we we'll see examples of many um prophets and 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 individuals that feared god in the scripture that humbled themselves before god as i said and they are they were exalted in due time all right we cast our care upon him because he cares for us right and this is something that we have to learn to do and we do this through prayer and sub, um, um, supplication right submission to unto god and this is even something that i ask the lord that i that be perfected in me right so i don't when you cast your cares on him, you, have, you will have the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding. You will judge the anxiety, all of the fears and all the cares of this life shall not affect you if we actually cast our cares upon him. Right? He's able to bear them all for us. Right? And as I said, this is just this this grows with relationship. As we grow in relationship with him, this is what will happen. As I said, we do this because as it says in the scripture there. Our adversary, adversary, the devil, has no good intent for us. He wants to destroy us, right? And he tries to destroy us in any, any way, shape, or form he can get at it. He's not picky. As long as he can destroy us, he'll try any um, any means to destroy us. But as we know, we if we commit our lives to the Lord and abide in him, he shall preserve us 
until that day that he does return again right so yeah i'm gonna leave it at that this morning um this is just a little take on these few verses this morning um anything that you would want to share you can comment in the comment section or send them into the word at each reach one dot org and as much as the lord has led me taught me and kept me over the years i will answer them according to his word according to his principles according to his will being led by his holy spirit so have a blessed morning and a blessed day everyone and god's willing we'll catch up again tomorrow